Hi, it's Lynn from Linny C Designs. I'm an independent stamping up demonstrator based in the UK and I am today going to make a card using two of the stamps from the little lace cling stamp set. This is in the annual catalogue and it comes as a bundle with this amazing die and this cuts an edge. Um, these are lovely. I'll show some samples made with this die over on the blogs, on my blog, which you'll be able to find on www.linneycdesigns.blogspot.com. There'll be links in the description box below, but let's get on. This is the first one of the, the examples that I made. And I had seen a video online from, um, it wasn't a video, it was something on Pinterest. I don't know about you, but I can use lose hours on Pinterest. And I just thought how pretty um, the card that I saw was a little bit stepped up from this. But when I stamped, this is heat embossed in white. Um, the sentiment is from varied vases. I just thought, actually how wonderful is that that's just so pretty on its own heat embossing for me has always been a bit of a um it was the thing that drew me into card making the inside sentiment is from perennial birthday but the version i'm going to make today it's still with cup crumb cake and it's a slightly stepped up version uh, the base is half a sheet of a4 um, cut at 14.9 so this is 14.9 by 21 centimeters i'll put imperial measurements over on in my blog um, and it's scored at 10 and a half to create a top folding landscape card and then i'm going to this is the layer i'm going to do my stamping and my heat embossing on um, that's also crumb cake and this is 10 by 14.4 centimeters so I'm just going to um, do the stamping straight away. Um, now, whenever you're heat embossing, it's very important that you use an embossing buddy. So these are filled with um, talc and it takes away any... Um, oil or grease or dust that's on your cardstock. Okay. I'm going to use a piece of ribbon um, from the Magnolia Lane Combo um, pack. This is lovely, it's linen with white edging. So I'm just going to pop that there so that I know um, vaguely where I want to, to do my stamping. And this is the main image. Um, I've got some Versamark ink and then some white heat embossed powder. So when it's a large stamp, I tend to put it, have it flat rather than take the stamp to the ink pad, which is what I would normally do. So I'm going to come in. Uh, I'm going to come in and actually go across the page with this so I can see where that's gone and it's the thick stamp there and I think I'm just going to have two of these I haven't made one of these cards usually I stamp in threes but I think that's going to be enough I've got my white heat embossing in a little Tupperware. I have got another pot, um, which I must empty into that. But I'll do. I'll put the powder on here. It just helps saving for a bit of a bit of a mess. And then I'm going to stamp the sentiment at the same time before I actually put the heat gun on this. This is just such a pretty image. So delicate. That's why I didn't think in my first card, card that it needed anything else. So 
so that's there and then the sentiment I'm also going to lay it out on its side check that I haven't got any around the edges which is the danger and then I check it's the right way up Now I find using this doesn't make the cardstock curl so if it does you can just give it a little bit of a, a tweak but I think that is just absolutely gorgeous. So the only thing I'm going to do now is with my Daffodil Delight um, Stampin' Right markers I'm going to um, colour in the centre of these flowers. So I'm going to use the light. I don't know how well this is going to show up on the crumb cake. It doesn't look like it's doing very well at all. And that's the pale one. Let's try the dark on top of that. It doesn't look particularly yellowy, but I quite like how that looks. And I really don't want to add any more colour to that. So I'm going to stick that down. Now what I do... If I line that up, I've got some tear and tape. Take a couple of little bits of tear and tape and pop that pop the first one down. Now if I make up make sure that that's sort of straight one two three one two three three hopefully this is all in on camera if not i will be doing this again so there we are that's lovely i'm going to use my favorite multi multi-purpose liquid glue i just think it well for me it gives me the wiggle room that i need oh yeah the yellow is coming up is showing more as that dries oh and i think that is absolutely lovely what I'm going to do there is just very quickly stick a little bit down to hold that in place. There we go. I'm going to leave the, the inside blank because this is just a quick little card. But I hope you agree. I think that is absolutely lovely so if you haven't already um, please subscribe as I said last week it is completely free and if you hit the little bell button um, it will you'll get notified every time I release a video 
so thank you so much for watching i will see you again real soon bye bye for now